Hey, how's it going? I'm Brandon. And I'm Andy. We're going to be giving you a tour of one of the units in the Mary Hill and Hilltopper Heights apartments. Let's get started. So, when you first walk in, you immediately will have your kitchen. Now, in the kitchen, you will be provided with the refrigerator, as you can see right here, the dishwasher, as well as the stovetop and oven. You will not be provided with the microwave. Unfortunately, you'll have to buy that on your own, but that's not too big of an issue. Moving on further to the living space, um, you have space for something like a dining table as well as like a futon, couch, whatever you may be. Put up your TV, TV stand, whichever you may like. And the nice thing about living in an apartment is that you have all this white space on the walls for you to decorate and make it as much like home as you want. And possibly can. Kind of going now into one of the bedrooms. They're all basically, this is a two by one unit. It's the most common style that we have on campus in these apartments. You can see it's a nice space. You can do whatever you'd like with it. Same idea as within the living room and the kitchen. You're not provided with furniture. You have to provide your own furniture, buy it on your own and decorate it. But just like the living room, you have the liberty of using all this white space to your advantage to decorate it as well as you want to make it feel as much like home as possible. Now, just so you know, I'm going to be showing you real quick the other bedroom in the apartment. It is basically the same. The only difference is that it's decorated differently. It's rearranged differently. Same idea. White space. You can do whatever you want with it or you can do nothing with it. As long as you feel comfortable with whatever you are doing. And then the last feature of this apartment is the bathroom. Typical bathroom, what you would expect. Of course, you have your sink, you have your mirror, you have your toilets down here, and then you have your shower up here. It's a bathtub, so even if you want, you can take baths, do whatever you may like, give yourself some self-care, do whatever you need to do to feel good. So now to kind of talk about some more stuff and some features and some benefits of living on campus, I'm gonna pass it over to Andy. There you go. Thank you, Brandon. So we're just gonna take a nice little stroll around the apartment, um, show off show off a little bit of what the apartments have to offer for you. Um, so number one, you're, if you live here on campus, you know it's gonna be easier uh, for you to get around. There's a lot of on-campus resources that you can use. Uh, the HCC is one. Uh, if you wanna pump some iron like my friend Brandon does here, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you wanna shoot some hoops, you know, uh, the RCC is not too far from the apartments is a good walk. Uh, but it'll get you nice and stretched out. Uh, we also, here in the apartments, we also offer uh, a lot of programs for you. Uh, we throw programs all the time. Uh, make sure you come out to them. We have a lot of cool stuff that you can do. Uh, a lot of free food, which is uh, people like. Mm -hmm. uh, you also, ha also have the RA and RD available for you. So if you don't know, there is always an RA on call every day here at the apartments, uh, specifically for the apartments and also an RD. Uh, so you know, you have a problem at night or you need help from someone, the RD and RA are always available for help. Uh, also UPD patrols 24 seven. So, you know, day or night, if you don't, uh, you're always gonna feel safe because UPD is here for everyone here at the apartments. Yeah. And as Andy was saying, RAs do put on programming for residents of the apartments. Right now, we're walking over to Community Building 2, which is the space that is generally reserved for residents, as hopefully you will be a resident next year, um, to kind of hang out, do whatever they want. We have a few resources in there. We'll give you a quick tour once we get inside. But yeah, RAs use the space for programming. I actually used the space just last night with one of my other RAs, Marvell to do a program. People came out, it was a good time, people learned some stuff. So we're not, we're here to make sure that you have a good time and that you enjoy your experience the most. As we enter CV2, 
the first thing you see on your left is a little computer room. It has a printer, two computers, nothing too big, but it's something that you can use 24 hours a day whenever you need to print or whatever you may need to take care of. Over here, you also have like your bathroom, your women's bathroom, your water fountain, and then your men's bathroom. And on your left, you have the laundry room, which once again, is 24 hours a day. You have four washers, six dryers, and then that door right there, you can enter 24 hours a day with the code that we give you at the beginning of the semester. Moving on further, we go into the lobby, the common space for everyone. You have the front desk area. You have the space for people to do homework, more space for people to do homework. People do this chill, play video games, the TV's there for you. You can take out the TV, check out the Wii remotes, games, whichever you would like for whatever you want to do. And also you have the front desk where you will pick up your packages and everything. You have any questions, you can go ask them, direct it to them, and they will take care of you with whatever you may need. As far as we're concerned, that's all we have to give for you tonight. We hope to see you around the apartments next year. As for right now, y'all have a good night. Peace out. Thank you.